But you can see that stadium is certainly <laughs> empty. Folks still want to cheer on their team, however, and our digital anchor Stephanie Haney is here now with us. And Stephanie, how are people getting creative to continue to cheer on their favorite high school sports teams? Well, Betsy, you're right. If there's one thing we're doing this year, it's getting creative. And you're right. That does include showing that school spirit and supporting our high school teams, even though we can't necessarily be in the stands. Now, if you live close to the high school, like Larry Klein, you have the option of cheering on the Sandusky Blue Streaks, which who he's cheering on by listening on the radio. And if that fails for some reason, he can also hear the in-stadium announcer from his front porch. That's pretty nice. Now, out in East Lake. Kay says her high school football team's fans are having a parade in the parking lot for the teams playing. Of course, she's talking about a car parade with lots of honking horns. I'm sure all of the players will be very excited about that and the band and the cheerleaders and everyone involved. And at Perry High School in Stark County, my alma mater, Go Panthers, they are streaming tonight's game against the Lake Blue Streaks Live. My good friend and coach Zach Slates told me the Perry Broadcasting class is handling the live stream. Here's what's pretty cool about this. They will have the game clock and the play clock synced up with that stream, Betsy. Mm. So no matter where you are, when you're cheering on the home team or the away team, you'll be able to do that from the comfort of your home. I think it's cool they were able to figure out how to do that. It's almost like television coming right at you on the high school level, certainly. And like I said, the, the good yeah. old AV club in high school and in middle school is going to be getting a workout. This is a real life training for them. Thanks, Stephanie. Go teams.